So I just arrived at Sisodobsis Lake, Sisodobsis Sea Lake. I'll be uh, doing the Down East Water Lakes Trail and it's gonna be a four day trip. Uh, it's been a long time since I've had the opportunity to get out in a canoe, got to unload here. I'm gonna be parking my vehicle up the road and uh, all's good. So uh, thanks for coming along and I uh, hope you enjoy it. is home for the night so let's uh, go check it out nice little beach there nice landing nice deep water right here too perfect
Last night it was about 32 degrees. And, uh, you know, I had to put some extra layers on just to, I mean, the sleeping bag did a great job, but uh, just got a little cold at times. And uh, that's expected when it's 32 degrees, but uh, what a change of events here. I am uh, working up a sweat and it's gotta be, I don't know, probably a heat wave, 50 degrees. <laughs> but uh, it's, uh, it's, what a beautiful day. Just packing up camp now and uh, working up a pretty decent sweat before I start paddling to uh, Pocumpkis Narrows, which is, I don't know, I suspect I have about uh, 10 miles of paddling today. Just going to take it easy today. Uh, boy, that sun is bright, though. So, yeah, I had some eggs, some uh, hash browns, some English muffins, delicious cup of coffee, two cups of coffee. And uh, just packing up, and I'm going to be hitting the water soon. So, uh, a lot of loons on this lake. A lot of uh, a lot of noise. They were noisy last night, but uh, that was my music for the night. And then they greeted me this morning too. So, um, gorgeous lake. on uh, Denison Portage and just a short I think a uh, hundred yard portage into Pocumpkis Lake and then uh, there uh, I have a good little paddle to uh, my next campsite Sisladopsy is an 11 mile long lake and a mile and a half across at its widest point and uh, I think I'm at that point right now and I got to cross. Wind conditions right now are favorable. go making this crossing I'm gonna ferry over with this wind It'll push me over shouldn't take me too long I guess
All right, just completed the portage, Denison portage. Coming out now on Pocumpkis Lake. Um, just to pass through that campsite back there. Nice and quiet when I got there, and then the next thing you know, uh, uh, well, people are out enjoying themselves. It's a beautiful day. But, uh, yeah, five side-by-sides and three Suburbans, and, geez, it turned into a zoo in, in short order. So, glad to be out of there. Nice to see people having a good time, though. So, uh, here we go. I think I got about... Uh, Two, two, three miles, perhaps, until uh, get to uh, Pocumpkis Narrows campsite. So, <clears throat> what I got going on now is, uh, never done these before, ever. This is just a snack, I think. I am hungry. I didn't, like, like earlier I said, I, I don't normally eat lunch, but geez, today I'm hungry. So, I've never had one of these. I've dehydrated my own food before. And uh, this is chicken, chicken teriyaki. Uh, I'm going to go for it. Today to the 
takeout. Anyway, wanted to uh, send a special thank you to my wife for, uh, you know, understanding the reasons why I want to do this stuff. I know it's strange to some. You know, why, why does somebody want to go paddle by themselves in the wilderness? And, uh, sometimes you just need a little bit of time. For me, this is great exercise. It keeps me sharp. It allows me to think. Get away from it electronics and stuff, although, you know, here I am using camera equipment, but, you know, that's, uh, that's part of it, too, that keeps you busy when you're out here on these trips. The camera work is, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's time consuming. So, I hope that you all enjoy this video. Running out of batteries and running out of memory cards, so... You don't hear from me again. This is a sign off. Thanks for watching. Please like the video if you enjoyed it. And uh, consider subscribing. Appreciate it. Trying to get to uh, Bottle Island, which uh, directly behind that, I believe, is Bottle Stream, Bottle Lake Stream, and uh, Bottle Lake Stream is going to take me to Bottle Lake, where uh, it's a short paddle there, and then uh, a takeout uh, to at about a 600-yard walk to my vehicle. Yeah, just being out in the middle of these big lakes is. You know, the wind's picking up a little bit. So, just got to get over there quickly. You know, these lakes can turn on a dime. This is coming through Junior, Junior Stream. It was, uh, you know, very, very calm. No wind at all. And now it's, it's picking up. So I got to get over there. So the trip is over. Just walking back from Bottle Lake to uh, Spruce Lodge, where uh, Randy was so kind to let me park for my trip. It's just about, I don't know, half a mile. It's good though, because uh, legs definitely needed a stretch. Trip's over. Trip is complete. Thanks for watching. <laughs>